fucking... I didn't want to read it, so I was, like, skimming it, and I was like, wait, what does this do? That's why it sounded like I was, like, having a stroke. And scorpions. And scorpions. And more scorpions. Fuck, I was right. No, I wanted to be wrong. Fuck. Can I teleport now? Yeah, I think so. Oh, uh, now we go back to the Forbidden Dome, I think. Forbidden Zone Dome thing, whatever he fucking calls it. The Forbidden Zone. My name is Mobius. I'm stupid. My name is Mobius and I have a stupid name and a stupid face. Well, technically he doesn't have a face. I have a stupid brain. There you go. Got him. Correct. Okay. Oops, wrong button. Let's finish it. Let's get it. What do I want to kill him with? Probably this. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let me repair it. Nice. Well, if push comes to shove, I mean, like, I'll probably kill him. But, I mean, I'll make my decision after dialogue. And after I loot. There is a unique uh, scientist glove right here. Obius's glove. I, I think that's about it. That's not- oh, and his scrubs, which are in that trunk right there. Alright, fuck it, let's talk to him. Where'd he go? He's over here. Not an angry bone in my- Hmm? Yo! Hello there! Uh, you are there, aren't you? Forgive my confusion. So hard to tell these days. You seem familiar somehow. I'm guessing uh, you're here for your brain, perhaps? It's just up there. Uh, such a nice brain, young, very bright. A uh, little hard to see you. Uh, can you walk into my left, uh, right FOV coon? Ah, that's it. You're coming into focus nicely. Well, uh, is that better? Depth perception is a problem with this old monitor of mine. Went black a while ago. <laughs> That's old age for you. Should look at getting the visual nerves reattached. It's just that the right eye would see the wrong things. <laughs> Flying tortoises oh, were the worst. Would what? you care for a mentat? Uh, no. I'll save it for later. I love mentats. Delicious and smarty. I have all sorts of amazingly science-horrific thoughts and ideas when those chalky tablets are zipping through my biogel. Um. I forget them all not long after, though. Especially with the data constipating my memory core. Afraid binary streams might shoot out my chassis. Had to start using the dome floor and walls here to inscribe equations. Although I've somewhat lost track of where they start and end. You weren't exactly what I was uh, expecting. Really? That implies preconceived notions, theories, and a hypothesis about this meeting? Please extrapolate. What was I uh, supposed to be like? After all, it might be worth a cognitive realignment if your theoretical Mobius is better than I. Well, I'd... why'd you take my brain? Oh, a variety of raisins. You're something of a homily. The uh, anomaly? You're, you're really quite special, and not in the cranially challenged way. 
You see, you are the most successful brain extraction experiment ever performed here at Big Mountain. A victim of your own success, as it were. If you were to go back with what your brain knows about the procedure, well, your brain could be popped back in and you could walk right out of here. Can't have brains moving around of their own volition. Um, I want my brain, so can I leave? Or so I can leave? Now, that seems to be rather hormonal of you. Flight or fight response, you know. Hard to cut that out completely. Your brain is here, safe with me. We chat over mentats. Well, I'm here to kill you. Oh, intriguing. I've never been killed before. Although, after that time I got that phlegmy discharge in my biogel, <laughs> I wished that I had been. like chlamydia. Well, if there's going to be killing, I defer to your expertise in this matter. How should we begin? Engineering viruses? Canceratic beams? Atomics? Cancer, right? Electrocutioning? Or should I summon my minions? Yes, my minions. I'll trash them like I did your giant piece of shit downstairs. Oh, now you've done it. I feel a twinge of regret over that little mistake I left on. Minions, destroy this intruder! Hmm. Or perhaps make it more dramatic. Minions, to me! <laughs> oh yes, that's quite a bit better. Oh, you fucking close that piece of shit. Damage. Didn't think you'd do that much. All right, let's just beat the shit out of you. Come here. Hey, Bye, Mobius. I hate you. Let's kill you guys too. Come here. <laughs> After fucking making these scorpions, I'm so glad I killed you. You fucking piece of shit. Die, please. You're just a nuisance. You're in my way. You're annoying. Die, please. Grab my brain and leave. Come on, head. Come on, dickhead. Let's go. You're coming back. Well, well, look who finally dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where <sighs> have we been? Hmm? Crawling through pits of radioactive muck again? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Why are you such a dick? No. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, you're my brain, so you better be more respectful. Oh, had I? What exactly will you do if I don't? Not put me back in that cranial... I mean, I could destroy you. Your head? Heavens forbid. You're already out, so... By all means, if the idea of spending the rest of your days as a true lobotomite appeals to you. Actually, come to think of it, you probably wouldn't mind that, would you? No, I really wouldn't. After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. Hey, how'd he do it? I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. I doubt it. 
Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. Well, that's a fine how-do-you-do. Me, a, uh, quote, dick, unquote. As if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the wastes. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus-infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill-conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? Yeah, that's fun. Fun? Fun? Is technus fun? Hmm? Is rickets? What about Celsius, huh? Enjoy that, do we? The yeah, things it sounds you like do a lot with our body are suicidally dangerous, and if you could silence your glandular impulses, you would hear me screaming at you! I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological <laughs> functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite a lot, I can tell you. <laughs> Too bad I got arms are coming with me. I can see there's going to be no reasoning with you at all, is there? I'm nothing more than a slave to your deranged glandular whims. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much it. You're my brain. Oh. Well, if you like being there, maybe I'll just leave you. Oh no. Please, don't leave me here in this nice, safe dome where I have access to nutritive fluids and a fully indexed library. Please don't deprive me of being dragged through a landscape so bleak it was actually improved by the end of the world. I don't know how I could bear it. Hmm. Yeah, look what happened to the think tank. Do you want to end up like them after a few hundred years? It's true. The brains here have experienced some degree of deterioration. I'm confident that with a few decades of work, I can solve the problem. I doubt it. Then surely you've taken into account the corrosive effects of long-term exposure to biogel. Of course I accounted for that! Do you think I'm so stupid? No, you're right. Maintaining my current functionality will be harder than I thought. This bears some further looking into. Well, what would happen to me if I left you here? Let me see. I suppose you'd continue on much as you are now, using that synthetic thinking machine to do the heavy lifting. Unless, of course, the batteries run out. But that seems unlikely. And if I put you back? I'm not entirely sure. I suppose there's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy between us. What form that might take, though, I cannot say. Oh. Let's go. Ugh, crawl back in there? Son Are you mad? God, I so don't know boring. where you've been. I For all I know, DLC. you're riddled with disease or packing uh. one of those delightful head wounds you seem to attract. I'm not crawling back into your head just to ooze right back out again. I don't recall giving you a choice. While the brute force approach is a lovely one, really, it won't work. Even if I wanted to settle myself back in your skull and go to all the trouble of reconnecting nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Uh, they promised to put us back together once I did what they asked. Uh, it's stomping time. Ooh, I like this one. Oh, lovely. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. Tell me, what exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning? <laughs> Ever had a squirrel brain omelet that put on a bigger scale and with bombs? Oh my god. The brains have forgotten the little things, things like sharp blades and heavy chunks of steel. 
Ooh, I like these. Ooh, I like the I like the guns one. Yeah, let's go with guns. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I do miss that lovely rat -a -tat boom a bit. It's just not the same without a body to feel the recoil. What's the next step then? Well, if they won't hold it up, then we'll make them. Right. Look out, Think Tank. This brain is coming out of its jar. Oh, fuck it. Thank you. I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts that nope. Think Tank took from us. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sinks auto dock can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Sweet. Time to go kill him. Well, confront them. We don't have to kill them. I always ended up killing them because I was just like in this fucking video series. Oh, you're gonna hear my dad talking. He's probably talking to my uncle. I'm sorry. It's 7 a.m. Honestly, didn't think he'd be awake. Mm. I gotta deal with more scorpions. Damn it. I don't wanna deal with more scorpions. I'm sick of the scholars. Oh. They're not here. Sweet. Okay. Uh, think tank. I think we have to go to the sink in order to put our brain back in, but it just says confront them. It doesn't say put the brain in. So whatever. It's not like I open my, like, scalp and throw my head in. I'm like, here you go, brain. Oh. Nice. Hi, guys. Do I still have anything? I don't have any 30 or 40 millimeters, sadly. Oh, that's, uh... This probably isn't gonna do anything, yeah. Now that I think about it, fuck it. What's up? The lobotomite returns. Our lobotomite. Has Dr. Mobius been denominated into scrap metal and voice module parts as we hoped yeah he's dead oh, all these options are to kill him hmm. I recommend watching your tone with me lobotomite now your brain <laughs> hand it over or we'll extract it again no You may have noticed the pacification field isn't up. Mm, I wonder what's gonna happen now. A fight? I, I've never been in a fight. What? Uh, what, what, do what, do? what? What do I? Ah, colleagues, think tank. Alert! Alert! We are under attack. Yeah, How do you fire this thing? Damn right I have. <laughs> Fuck off, O. Oh, oh doll, I'm sorry I gotta kill you. No, I'm not. <laughs> Our brain fucking exploded. <laughs> okay, time to leave. How do I leave? I guess just walk out here. Yep. As it had been in the years before the Great War, Big Mountain, the Big Empty, became home to one of the brightest minds of the 23rd century. 
The courier watched over the big empty for years to come, caring for it and keeping its discovery safe until they were needed to help others. Which had always been Big Mountain's purpose. Past the laboratories and science, it had always been intended as a place to build the future of all mankind. The courier had scoured much of the Big Empty, although secrets still remained in the crater's depths. Perhaps that was for the best, however. Curiosity, while sometimes rewarded for its efforts, often proves to be equally dangerous. The Forbidden Zone continued to be, true to its name, forbidden. No more Robo-Scorpions were sighted in its canyons. Big Mountain became even emptier, devoid of Dr. Mobius's proclamations forecasting the destruction of anything that dared possess sentience. Still, it is said he lived on in the equations inscribed on the floor and walls of the Forbidden Zone Dome. A cobweb tracery of symbols that told of a thousand brilliant thoughts, now lost to time. The sink atop the dome bustled with the voices of a small town, constantly chirping, arguing, and snarling at each other. Still, this all happened productively in the interests of its new owner. The SYNC Central Intelligence Unit discovered, despite its inversion code, it was comforted by the sense of community the other personalities gave it. The biological research station, obsessed with seeding everything in sight, requested a transfer to the X-22 Botanical Garden, so that it might, in its own words, sensually fertilize the garden's smooth contours. The garden sent back a polite refusal, saying it had prior commitments with a vault it had helped infect before the war. The book shoot continued to devour all seditious materials until it nearly choked on a paperclip. It adamantly maintained it was a Chinese paperclip, and the whole thing had been an elaborately orchestrated assassination attempt. Whatever the reason, it slowed down for a while, carefully appraising each document and clipboard that came to it. The light switches continued to bicker and flicker. This persisted until the day someone dropped a flashlight in the sink, and the two of them united in their hatred of the showboat. The sink continued to ruthlessly scrub any particulate matter that came near it. Eventually, it gained access to the magnetohydraulics plant and nearly flooded all the big empty in an attempt to scrub the crater clean. The toaster continued its psychotic spree, reducing all appliances in range to scrap electronics and spare parts. After one of its more psychotic episodes, however, the other sink personalities decided enough was enough and dumped the toaster in a bathtub. Sparking and hissing, the toaster swore its enemies would rue the day when they had bread and no way to toast it. Muggy did his best to collect coffee cups, although in his quest, he accidentally trapped himself in Higgs Village. It might have been the end for poor Muggy, except he found it peaceful there. Tidying up the kitchens of the think tank professors back when they had been flesh and bone. Well, except for Dr. O, who was an asshole for having created Muggy in the first place. Muggy left O's house deliberately dirty, punishing the dishes and cups that lived there in blind revenge for serving Dr. O. Blind O. Jefferson. With sounds the courier brought him, created a symphonic counter-frequency that saved Big Mountain from sonic invasion in 2910. If you didn't hear about it, good. It was rumored by the other personalities that he had a brief fling with the light switches. Although, he forgot their names once too often and was soon left in the dark as punishment. 
Auto Doc. Always gentle and methodical. Get sewing up the courier in all the right places when the skin split open from repeated wear and tear. The Auto Doc was just glad to have purpose again. It heard its simpler brothers and sisters who got shipped to the Sierra Madre were bored out of their skulls in that toxic dead city. In time, the Autodoc found a way to deactivate the Y-17 trauma harnesses, releasing the corpses they had held prisoner for almost 200 years. As the courier ran through the X-8 facility multiple times, the computers analyzed the test subject's movements. Rather than performing a superficial observation, they realized the subject barely knew what communism was. Or even what a high school was. This confused them for a time. Until the facility finally realized that its research had... ...succeeded. So it let its cyber dogs out into the wastes... ...to help protect small communities from physical aggression... ...rather than communist propaganda. The infiltration program in X-13 felt spent having repeatedly upgraded the stealth suit until it could upgrade it no more. It felt warm, fulfilled, and a bit sluggish. It realized not long after, the stealth suit had left it without so much as a note on the nightstand. So the infiltration program sent out robo-brains into the wastes, looking for its wayward technology. It eventually found Repcon HQ and set up a new research center. Testing and murdering fiends who kept breaking into the facility. The courier, organs intact, continued onwards, a little less heavy of step, but with all the organs in the right places, as they should be. After all, brains can develop a life of their own when left to their own thoughts, and the courier's brain was more clever than most. The think tank basement, filled with the lobotomized robotical frames of the doctors, now served as a graveyard. The monitors had recorded the battle in its entirety, including the think tank's final shrill, terrified screams, whimpers, and pleas for mercy. They broadcast these humiliating last moments as a warning to anyone approaching the perimeter that other smarty pants were not welcome. The courier was the inheritor of the big empty, and there was room for only one will in the halls of the Think Tank Dome. There is an expression in the wasteland, Old World Blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past, they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. They stare into the what was, eyes like pilot lights, guttering and spent as the realities of their world continue on around them. Science is a long, steady progression into the future. What may seem a sudden event often isn't felt for years, even centuries to come. In the times following the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, however, Old World Blues took on a new meaning. Where once it was viewed as a form of sadness, nostalgia, it became an expression describing the potential for the future. It can be easy to see science as evil, technology unchecked as the source of all ills, all misfortunes. With the courier at the helm, science became a beacon for the future. There was old world blues, and new world hope, and hope ruled the day at Big Mountain. We could say more but the stories in the Big Empty speak for themselves. Now armed with the Transportal Ponder, the Courier could return to the Dome at any time and crack open the secrets of the Big Empty one by one. The Sink sat vigilant, waiting for its master to return, shoes covered in Mojave dust. Only one road yet remained, and it was one the Courier had to walk alone. Jesus, that was long. You've lost the brainless perk, and you've gained the big brain perk. Now I do the big think. 
Your head can st still cannot be crippled, but you only gain 10% resistance to addiction now. Uh, your damage threshold has been improved by 10% minimum to 1 TT. You've acquired the Big Mountain Transportal Ponder. It's capable of transporting you and you alone between the Mojave and Big Mountain. To return to the Mojave or go back to Big Mountain from the Mojave, simply equip the Transportal Ponder as you would any weapon, pull the trigger, and away you'll go. Note that it won't work in interiors or in combat situations and is totally incapable of harming your enemies. Fucking auto dock, he's just like her her uh her rumph. Might I be safe in the Uh okay, I'm gonna do a little shopping. Ah, oh, never mind I can't. It's not fixed. Alright, rip. Alright, well that was uh old world blues. This is the transport of ponder. If you know what the word proletariat means, Shut do up. you know what that makes you? Well, that's the end of this. DLC, thank God. The longest DLC, probably, in the game. And I'm done. I will see you when we tackle the Lonesome Road. The final DLC for New Vegas. And then after that, we just we play the game again. We'll be done with the DLCs. Thanks for watching. Bye.